Alberto Flammer, born 1938 in Muralto, Canton Tessin. After an apprenticeship at his father's photographic studio, he concentrated on photo reporting, art, architecture, and advertising. His searchings for the aesthetic are always carried out with a marked stringence and style. My father was a rather unusual photographer, with hundreds of bottles in his lab. He seemed to be more of an alchemist than a photographer. He tried me out for a year before he took me on as an apprentice. When you start, naturally there are the myths and the grand masters whom you also imitate. Obviously at that time there were Cartier Bresson or Robert Frank. But then little by little something of your own emerges. After exploring all areas of photography and publishing more than 20 books, Alberto Flammer continues his research. At the moment, he's interested in radiography and magnetic resonance, a way of understanding and discovering other dimensions of light. The vase is, of course, a snail, and in it there are these roses. The structure of the rose also seems a bit like a snail, and it is a sign of life in the vase. You need the light to be very dim, as otherwise it's lost, because the rose is extremely delicate. I have also photographed vases with thick glass, but the rays don't pass through. I couldn't do anything with those vases, until I found this and another one instead, and then it worked. With radiography you have a different light depending on the object in front of you. In this instance, it is probably also fascinating just from the technical point of view. And the light above all. Light is fundamental for me. It's a novelty for me to work with such a penetrating and unusual light. Many say that it's not really photography, but I have prepared it, thought of a subject, brought it along and radiographed it, and now I'm making the negatives and then the enlargements on Barrett paper. They are like x-rays. The sunflower is very amusing. Also the leaves look different because the form is so distinct. You lose the beautiful color, but the structure of the seeds is very clear.
As a photographer, I always use a soft or a harsh light. And here you have a light passing right inside and you still see the exterior. It is much easier to talk about the photography of others than your own. It is definitely more difficult to talk of your own. With magnetic resonance, it's a segment where you see just the eye, where you don't see the nose, and then you see all the brain and what's inside, which I find altogether really fascinating. These pictures here are, well, first of all, they are of me. And you see the brain, the eye, actually in all these images. But it's not possible to say how they came about. Probably it's just the way radiography works. Previously, I would rather have done reporting, but now that doesn't interest me anymore, because I have developed my own style. You have a certain way of taking photographs, which is always the same, and then the subject of the photograph becomes important. But for me, it is more the way you take pictures, the method, and less the subject. Even a very simple subject is capable of becoming something really important. There are some very experimental things that interest me. But I don't only want to do the so-called avant-garde, or more extreme, as I certainly also like the more traditional. Digital doesn't exist for me. I don't even think about it. Neither the computer, the digital, nor the fax. No, I am allergic to the technical. It doesn't interest me anymore.